Hi, my name is Kevin Oliveira. I'm the Senior Product Marketing Manager at Forcepoint for Data Security Solutions. And today I have joining me Jeffrey Hall, a Principal Sales Engineer with Forcepoint. And we're going to be talking about chat GPT and generative AI and how to increase productivity for your users all your um, across your organization using Forcepoint data security and how Forcepoint data security can unleash greater productivity with uh, generative AI. Um, first thing I wanted to point out um, with generative AI and just our, our thought, there's a lot of controversy going on about generative AI. Um, some really important data points of things that have been said in just the last few months, um, particularly since generative AI has kind of taken off and become a big topic. Um, one is, uh, this is from Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs predicts actually a 7% annual boost in uh, economic output over the next 10 years, directly related to the adoption of AI. They are so bullish about what's going on with AI that they believe that it's going to, it's gonna, the economic output is actually going to increase um, globally across all nations. It's just, it's a it's a um, a big a big jump, and so they they're they're seeing this as a very important uh, opportunity for the world and um, uh, for the global economy. The um, another quote this came through uh, Bill Gates. He had done a blog in March, and he looking across um, his his lifetime. He sees this as one of the four of the most important things that he's seen in terms of technology to uh, impact um, the and, and really change the way industries work and how businesses work. Um, the other ones he cites is the creation of the microprocessor, another the personal computer, the internet, the mobile phone. He sees these this whole thing with AI, generative AI on that same level. And um, that industries will reorient around it. Businesses are going to distinguish themselves on how they take advantage of it. And with both of these two, it's really important to note that it's not just seen as a tech thing. It's not just something that tech companies will do, but it's actually something that will go across multiple com uh, all, all different industries and all different functions within an industry in terms of how they make use of it. And so what we're going to be looking at, Jeff and I, we're going to be talking about um, how this works as far as um, how Forcepoint is able to unleash this um, uh, productivity in particular for organizations. And um, uh, we're, we're going to talk to um, and give some, some illustrations of that in the next few slides. Um, first thing I want to ask Jeff, what are the three key ways Forcepoint data security can enable greater productivity with ChatGBT and other generative AI solutions? Uh, yeah, I would say like so. First of all, the sort of the easiest way to do um, is just outright blocking, right? So you know, protection from that, just outright blocking through like a, a uh, you know, our um, secure web gateway uh, component, so there's not even access to those uh, those sites. Um, really, then the second one comes down to is, is enabling you know your users to actually get into to do the research, do things like that, and that can be done you know by setting up the policies that protect sensitive data and IP as a as a global whole. Um, and then there's a third way that we can do it around having uh, really more of a targeted use uh, use of the AIs uh, that are out there, whether it's ChatGPT or Bard or whatever, um, and, and that's really being able to apply, you know, access to a specific group um, to allow or deny uh, a certain group access to it and, and protect that sensitive data. Right. Okay. Great. So I'm hearing three different things. One is there is the whole area of permissions, and and we have technology can enable different permission levels. For different groups within organizations, there is the potential. If, if you if you feel for your organization to a complete block, that's also capable. We're we're capable of giving you that. The third one, kind of this middle one, um, is uh, uh, this other one, which I think is more um, the one that's an enabler. Is the idea of building strong policies that will restrict data exfiltration, and so that's it'll it'll limit the data exfiltration. It'll train the organization to do that. Um, majority of your, your organization are not bad actors, and they just need to understand how to use it responsibly. And I think that's um, that's that seems like those are the three. Of those three, is there any that really stand out to you as far as what you would recommend or what you you think is ideal for an organization? Yeah, uh, yeah, I really think the 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 targeted policy you know, model, right? So making sure that you you do have the policies in place to protect your sensitive data. Um, you do have uh, the uh, you know, the right groups of access, the people that need to use it can use it, versus just you know, anybody going out there to you know out there. Um, 
and then also putting in controls like customer, like user coaching, right? So you know, do I know that I'm actually putting something out there that's sensitive? I may not. And using having those policies in place with some of the advanced, you know, pop-up versus outright blocking, you can have an a teaching moment opportunity uh, for your end users. Great. Um, the next question I have is, um, what's an example of a way that users, and I think it's building on that last uh, area that you were talking on, what's an example of a way that users can safely use ChatGPT or other generative AI without friction? So the idea is they can use it freely. They're not getting blocked, stopped, blocked, blocked, you know, it's just, but they're actually able to right. kind of freely use it. But the organization as a whole can be very comfortable that they're it's, it's being used securely. Yeah, right. So let's say you've got a group that uh, does have access to it, right? They can go out there and do research and post things into into ChatGPT and see what it comes back with. Um, but also, if they take a step too far, you know, they may uh, touch into the IP space. Then you could get a violation that that come up, and you could use, like I said, the user coaching, as I mentioned before. And I can show that if you want to see what that looks like. Yeah, that'd be great. All right. So what we've got here is we're in ChatGPT, ChatGPT uh, with an open AI and. This is a regular use case from a marketing perspective, let's say example. You know, I want to write an outline and see what that looks like to come back, right? And so I submit that in here and it's going to give me this outline of five things, including an introduction and a closing. But I've done some more work on this and I started to build up my blog post. And now I've got data that I'm going to be posting in here that could contain um, that sense of some sensitive information you know, within here. And what, as soon as I hit submit on that, I now have this user coaching moment that comes up and says, hey, I'm not sure about this. I see that I've matched on some secure AI, you know, policies that, was a bit, that were triggered on this. And I have either the option here, like, yes, I want to do it. My manager approved that I could do this. You know, you know, this is business requirements. This is customizable. But for now, I'm just going to block it because I may have gone too far. And then you can see down here, we get our, uh, our block warning on that. That's a great example, Jeff. Um, I like particularly, you know, the first one where you show kind of it helps the marketer to write a blog, gives them some ideas. It wouldn't necessarily cut and paste it, but it might give them some guidance. And then the second one where there actually is some real um, IP potentially that's being um, exfiltrated. So there's a, a block as well as a, a, a coaching right. opportunity. A coach, right. 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 Okay. The one third question I have Um when could it be good for a company to fully block access to generative AI? When, when would that happen or should happen? Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so I, I think that really depends. It comes down to the level of risk that an organization is willing to, uh, uh, to accept. Right. So, you know, as they go through and talk with their other business partners on uh, business functionalities and going in there is really developing these policies to either do that block out, right. For certain groups or do that, you know, like I showed you before with that, you know, those policies that uh, you can go in to restrict that sensitive data that comes out. So really, you know, understanding that, you know, whether what type of data is going out, you know, what groups should have access to it um, and data types um, is really what it comes down to, or just do a block out, right, you know, so at the level of risk. And we do have those technologies to support all three of those methodologies. That's great. Um, so just looking again, uh, just as far as what Forcepoint enables, over here to the left is a diagram, and it shows, you know, as far as with ChatGPT, Bard, any other generative AI, we do have the ability to log, as Jeff had just shown. You can do some inspecting and blocking. There's the opportunity for coaching, control access. There's all these different things that Forcepoint is able to do to make it so that it's safe for uh, users. Uh, we do believe that generative AI is just really a, a productivity bonanza for um, globally, for economies, as well as for um, individual organizations. And we want to encourage safe usage of uh, these uh, new generative AI tools. And um, we also believe that um, you can do this safely with both our, uh, specifically our products, Forcement One and Forcement DLP. Um, you can always come to our website and ask for a demo for these. And we can share um, very specifically how you can um, make use of these to be able to securely use these generative AI tools. Um, and last, we can go beyond even just chat GBT in, in terms of controlling categories of AI. So we even have more to come in terms of technology that will be sharing. Um, for more information, please go to our uh, playlist on YouTube on the Forcepoint Tech Talks. It's called Safely Use AI Tools with Forcepoint, um, Forcepoint Data Security. And you can see more videos, uh, lots of them specifically around like usage for healthcare, usage for marketing, usage for R&D, usage for developers. And it'll give you some really excellent examples um, that show how specifically you're able to um, safely 
um, use ChatGPT and other generative AI tools. Thanks.